Hey friends, it's Erica. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a layout for the Acheria on Top 6x6 Mixer Blog Hop. We are all using 6x6 and 6x8 paper pads today, and I am just going to show you all of the products that I'm going to be using. I'm using Simple Stories Hip Hop Hooray, and um, I don't use all of the products. I don't think I don't think I end up using the chipboard, but everything else I do use. Also, a cut file from a cut cut to you and I'll leave that link down below um, as long as I can find it. I don't think it was a newsletter freebie but I will check and if I can find it I'll leave it linked down below for you and I just cut it out on some white textured cardstock. So I'm just going to go through and trace some of these and back them for you on camera and then the rest I'll do off camera. So all I do is take the cut file and turn it over and also turn over the pattern paper. Use my pencil and trace the inside of the cut file. Then I will go in with some um, scissors and then cut around my trace line, making sure that I can leave a small border. That way I have something to adhere to the cut file. If you cut directly onto the line, the pattern paper will just fall, <clears throat> excuse me, right through the cut file. So make sure that you cut around your, cut, your trace lines and you will be perfectly fine. Sometimes I have a little extra um, pattern paper hanging off and I just go back in and tra or, um, trim that off at the end. So I'm using this glue here from iCraft um, and you can pick this up at Thermoweb or a cherry on top and I think scrapbook.com has it as well. I like this because you can purchase this uh, metal tip for it and it works really well when you want to use it on a cut file. I'm also going to be pulling out some Catherine Pooler inks. Um, I want to create some color to my background cardstock, so I'm going to pull out colors that match um, the colors in the pattern paper. So I end up pulling out party dress and rose petals, and I kind of mix the two of them together. And then I also pull out, I believe it's Skylight, and then Eucalyptus, and then Shea Butter. And I'll leave those all linked down below so you guys can, if you're interested in these inks, you can check them out. So there they are all laid out. And I think that the colors match pretty good. And once I get them on, down on the paper, they do actually go really well. Um, mixing the party dress and the rose petal um, helped with that pink. So just the party dress by itself um, was not quite the right color. But mixing in a little bit of that rose petal kind of helped darken it up just a little bit. So I laid that pink down first with the packaging. Um, all I do is add some color to an acrylic block, add a little bit of water and take some um, clear packaging, um, collect some of that color onto the clear packaging and then smush it down onto the um, cardstock. And then I use my paintbrush to go and pick up some color and add some sprinkle. Now you could go in with the packaging, just um, add the color from the ink pad to your packaging, add the water there, and then turn it upside down and smush it onto your paper. I like to do the acrylic block and then um, pick up the color with the packaging. Um, I don't know, I just like the, the way that it comes out that way. Sometimes if I do it the other way where I put it onto the packaging and then turn it upside down and smush it onto the paper, it just gets everywhere. Um, so this way I feel like I have a little more control of where the color is going to go if I do it this way. So that's just my, my way of doing it and I, I really like it. So um, in between colors, I'm going in with a paper towel roll and just rolling it onto the cardstock just to absorb some of the liquid. Um, I didn't prep my cardstock or anything, so I wanna make sure that my paper doesn't warp. So I go in and um, use the paper towel to lift up some of that water. So now I'm just going in with the Shea Butter, um, doing the same type of technique. And then I will go in with Skylight and just repeat the process over and over until I get to the eucalyptus. I was afraid that the eucalyptus might have been a little um, too dark, but once I go in with the paper towel and kind of um, absorb some of that, it lightens up a little bit, so it ends up working out really well. I love these ink pads. They're so, so juicy, and they work great for this technique. They also are great for stamping stamped images, um, but I really love using them for this technique and it's also a way to use or to use products that you have in your stash. Um, we have a whole lot of stamps or ink pads in our stash and not a whole lot of mists. This is a great way to use this as um, 
like a watercolor so I'm just going in with a skylight now adding some sprinkle with the paintbrush and then I'll go in with the eucalyptus So this blog hop was part of the International Scrapbooking Day um, celebration. We kicked it off on Thursday. Unfortunately, I was not able to get my video up on in time to have it with my blog post. Um, things have been so crazy. Um, but I did want to get this up eventually because I did film it and it was on my phone ready to go. I just had to add the voiceover. So um, I will leave a link to the hop down below um, so you guys can check out all of the awesome projects from the the creative team and then also I will leave a link to a cherry on top so you can head on over there so I am using the hip hop hooray collection from simple stories it is super cute I love the bunnies in this collection so so much um, so I really wanted to use this and I still have tons of Easter photos from this year not and last year to document so um, I really want to use this collection so I have these laid out how I want them to go and um, I have my photos here printed in black and white and it's just uh, pictures of the boys coloring the Easter eggs. We actually did this on Easter morning after um, the kids woke up um, and had breakfast. So we didn't, we usually do them like before Easter but we ended up doing them on Easter. Things are just a little crazy and everything that's going on and we couldn't get eggs and then we finally got eggs and so we did them Easter and um, they didn't last long. The kids love boiled eggs, so they ate them right away. <laughs> so I'm just gonna um, lay all of the scallops out and then I have them popped up on some foam adhesive from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. And I am going to take the ephemera pack and just go through it. And I, I always do this. I go through the ephemera pack and just pull things out that I think that I want to use. And I don't end up using everything that I pull, but. I use most of the things. Um, I also want to cut out that super cute bunny with the little bow tie. He's adorable and he is not in the die cut pack or the chipboard. Um, the other bunny I think has florals on it and since these are photos of the boys um, I thought the one with the bow tie would be cute and I really like the size of that bunny. The other ones are smaller. I really wanted that bunny to stand out. So I have the photos and I'm going to mat them here on some pattern paper from the 6x8 paper pad. Um, and I'm using a color that's um, like the darker teal color. And so I'm just going to fussy cut out this super cute bunny. I think he's just adorable and I love his little bow tie. And um, I'll get him stuck down to the layout. <clears throat> Originally I thought I was going to have everything off to the right hand side of the layout. but. Um, I end up moving it over the photos over to the left a bit and I like the way that that looks a little bit better so the first pack of ephemera was the journaling um, bits and pieces and then this is the actual ephemera icon pack so I'll go through this pack as well and pull out some florals see how that other bunny I he's just too small I really like the size of the other one which is weird for me because I usually don't like bigger ephemera pieces but for that bunny I just thought he was super cute so I also picked out that Hip Hop Hooray um, title piece. So I'm going to use that. Um, no, I don't use that one. I end up using the one that says Happy Easter, I believe. Um, but it looks very similar to the Hip Hop Hooray. So I want to move the photos over and I ended up ripping a little bit of the cut file. So I just kind of glued it back down and you can't even tell. And the bunny will cover it up just a little bit. So I was okay with that. So I end up using the Happy Easter um, title word instead. So I'm just pulling out some different um, pieces of ephemera and I thought that I would try to match the color to like the color ephemera pieces to the color on the cut file and I do pretty well at it but um, like down at the bottom there's more color obviously because I have a little bit more cluster eph ephemera going on but I do add some pink floral at the top and a pink banner and a pink brad um, and then down at the bottom where the eucalyptus is, I, the eucalyptus color, I do have a, um, like a little tag and another brad that matches that eucalyptus color. And then, um, I think a floral or no, not a floral. It's, um, like a dragonfly, I think. So here's the happy Easter and I'm just going to pop it up on these, 
um, foam squares from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. I love the size of these, the small, the small ones. They work really, really well, especially on that little title piece. Um, so I have some, some thin ones and then some thicker ones in a couple different sizes. So there are these little carrots. I'm just going to stick those down here off to the side of the bunny. I thought those were really cute to add. So I'm just going to go through and add a few things. I do add some florals to this layout. Um, even though it's photos of my boys, there's nothing wrong with adding florals to um, boy layouts. I have this little journal um, piece right here, and I'm going to add the date and then um, have that stuck down on top of one of the photos. And I just used my We Are Memory Keepers typewriter to add that to the, to the label, and I do that often. I'll just um, stick it down to a piece of copy paper and then run it through the typewriter. So just going through and add different, adding in different bits of ephemera. I have this floral up here that's got a big yellow flower on it. So I'm going to tuck that in up there by that sun. And then this piece up here, I'm going to go ahead and get that stuck down. Tuck this flower in here. And then I have that little label with a little word um, ephemera tag. And I'll get that stuck down. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick up the brads. I'm going to add one of the brads which originally I thought they were sticky back brads, but they're actually um, real brads. So I had to find my little mat and I couldn't find my little piercer tool. So I ended up using my tweezers because they were super sharp. So that made it easy to kind of poke a hole in there. So I'll get that stuck down. I think I do end up going in and adding a staple as well, just um, for another texture to the layout. I have a tiny attacher and um, I add two staples to the top. And then go in with an enamel dot, just to add some more pink up there in the corner. I'm going to use the brad here that says hop and tick, stick that in there next to the bunny. This layout came together really quickly once I had the cut file backed. Um, everything kind of just fell into place. I love using um, collections. I know everything is going to match, everything is going to go together, and it makes creating a layout really, really easy. So we also have um, some challenges in the A Cherry on Top Facebook group called Cherry Crafters. I am actually giving away three Doodlebug Design um, Hay Cupcake collection packs with, with a tote bag. Um, my challenge in the group is to use circles on a layout. So if you created a um, layout this weekend or um, if you have time to do it this week, you can enter to win. I have an album, a challenge album that I created in the group and you just upload your project to that challenge al album and you will be eligible to win one of the prizes. Um, we will select the winners randomly. So I think you have until May 9th to submit um, to the Cherry Crafters Facebook group. Um, all you have to do is use a circle or circles. Um, a circle somewhere on your layout and you can submit and you can also combine this with other challenges. Um, also on the um, Cherry on Top uh, forum on the website, there's also challenges and things there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will catch you in my next video and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.